back. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, part two here of butterfly. If you've been practicing part one, good for you. If you have not, check out part one of butterfly here. In the last lesson, we were doing this: how to enter in the water. By now, you should be comfortable doing this. Starting from here and coming up. Starting like this, diving in. So the next stage in the butterfly is to add the kick. So we call it the dolphin kick. So dolphin kick is basically you take your two legs together and you're doing like a front kick. And when you do the front kick with both legs together, you're gonna snap it. And it's gonna look like a mermaid's tail. So it's gonna look like that. Right? So this is normal flutter kick, okay, when you're kicking on your front. But with a dolphin kick, Take your two legs together like this. And you just put all your energy into the snap. Multiple kicks. Dolphin kick. It's a nice, nice crisp snap. As I do the dolphin kick, I want to try to channel all of my energy from my head all the way down to my toes. That's the kind of energy I want. If you're trying to snap from your knees, which is most, what most people do in the beginning, you're not optimizing or utilizing the maximum effect of your dolphin kick. Okay, so it comes from your head, snaps down to your toes, just like break dancing, okay? <laughs> when you do this. <laughs> Starting from your head, channeling down to your toes as you snap. You're just one giant whip as you do it. From my head down to my toes, and I can feel it transferring down. Like my core is activated all the way down to my toes. That's a good feeling. So when you combine the, the first drill we learned in part one with the dolphin kick, it's gonna look something like this. So you start off just like before. And you add the dolphin kick. That snap is, is what's going to propel you even further. Alright, so I enter into the water and then I activate the one dolphin kick before I come up. So again, enter into the water and you finish with the dolphin kick before you resurface. Another good drill to practice to get used to the dolphin kick is combining it with your breaststroke. Do one breaststroke, which you should be knowing how to do right now, and then you add a dolphin kick at the end. So this is what I mean. So you do your breaststroke. And then you add a dolphin kick at the end of it. Dolphin kick at the end, right? So a whip kick, dolphin kick at the end. Dolphin kick. And this is something that I do a lot because you know, I find breaststroke to be pretty slow, okay? So to give me that extra acceleration, I add a dolphin kick at the end of my breaststroke. So try it out. Add the dolphin kick, all right? Just get used to that motion. That's the first half of the dolphin kick when adding it into the butterfly. So basically there are two dolphin kicks required to do one butterfly, okay? So what I mean by that is, so we did the first one, right? But when we exit out of the water, we had a second dolphin kick. The first dolphin kick is when we're halfway underneath the water. The second dolphin kick is added once we exit out of the water with our arms. When your arms are doing this, 
You're adding another dolphin kick at the end of that. Your hands, very like this, with the dolphin kick combined. The tripod, the triforce, all right, the power that I call it, is what accelerates you out of the water, gets your body out of the water. Let me demonstrate when you add the arms pulling and that dolphin kick combined. So, when you do the oomph, you add the dolphin kick. Alright, so, you have to practice. When you exit out of the water, practice pushing down. Pushing down with your hands, your palms, and dolphin kicking forward. Okay, so. Let me say that again. Once you exit out of the water, your arms are pushing down like this, and your dolphin kick legs are pushing forward like that. All right, so this way with your arms, this way with your feet. When you have a good balance of both, then you're gonna start flying out of the water like a fish, like a salmon, okay? <laughs> Easier said than done, okay? It requires hours and hours and hours and hours of practice, okay? But practice this, and your, your, your core is gonna feel it, okay? Your core is in between your arms and your legs. So boom, you're gonna feel that effect as you do it, okay? It's a great workout, okay? That's why strong swimmers are just like, they love butterflies. So once you get comfortable with pushing down with your arms, and kicking forward with your dolphin kick, you're gonna have to start refining your pull. When we pull with the butterfly, our arms start off kind of like a breaststroke, like that. Okay, so breaststroke, we enter like this, and then we come up and we go down, right? But for butterfly, we start off with like a semi kind of breaststroke, and then we finish it off with like a freestyle or front crawl movement. So basically, some people call this like a keyhole because you're drawing a big circle. You know, finishes that way, right? Just like a key, like the shape of a keyhole, right? Old school style, <laughs> okay? So, it's true. You start off with a circle, like breaststroke, you bring your arms in, and you want it brushing past you like a front crawl. So when we do a front crawl, we're drawing one half circle at a time, right? So your front crawl should be looking like this, by the way. Okay, when we do front crawl, you should not be doing this. It's just a waste of energy and it's gonna hurt your shoulders. Okay? Okay? Like that. That's your front crawl. Like that. One round circle, bring it in towards your hips and let it follow through like that. And I'm trying to splash that tree or bush behind me when I do it. Okay? That's your front crawl. Butterfly just two arms at the same time, like that. Breaststroke, start, okay? No energy involved in this part right here. I'm just setting it, this is the setup, all right? When it gets to here, then I add some power, okay? So, setup, no energy, no energy. Come to my hips, okay, boom, pull. Okay, that's what you have to keep in mind, okay? Now, if it gets confusing, just do what I'm doing right now. Do this, okay? No energy. Let's do this in the water now, okay? Face down, let's simulate it. Pull. And then, remember this part? When we learned in the first video, no energy involved, okay? Your arms should be light as a feather.
So you guys have a lot of homework to do. Take it step by step, practice all these drills mentioned in this video. Part three, the final part of butterflies coming soon. But in the meantime, subscribe to my YouTube channel, ask any questions down below in the comments. Join our Facebook group, and if you want to learn how to swim, join my online swimming course, sevendayswim.co, click the link below. Sign up now, and start learning swimming from me. Get started now, okay? Let's all learn how to swim in 2018, okay? So that's all I want to say for now. Take care, love you, bye.